Mayo and I work for Women's Environmental Network. Today I'd like to show you how to grow beetroot and chard. I'm talking about these different vegetables at the same time because they belong to the same family and if you have a look at the seeds you can tell they are quite similar, aren't they? I honestly cannot tell them apart from one another and that's why I keep them in their own packaging. As they belong to the same family and they are quite similar, they also can be grown following the same rules. Beetroot, as you may know, is usually harvested for its roots. Actually, the leaves can be steamed and cooked as well. Chard, also called Swiss chard, is a kind of similar to a large spinach. In fact, there is a variety of chard called spinach beet. It grows large leaves, often with colored stem like this one and they are a bit sweeter than spinach when cooked, so they are ideal for children, I think. Both beetroot and chard are quite easy to grow. They don't need a lot of sun or fertilizer to grow well, and they can be sown almost every time of the year, avoiding hot summertime or frosty days in winter. Some seed you buy can be coated with germinator inhibitors, so it's better to soak them in water about an hour before sowing. You can start sowing them in a pot, tray or container, and by March or April you can sow them directly outdoors. Here I'm using a recycled tray with some hole in the bottom and fill it with compost for start the germination so I can sow more seeds in a very small space. Then as soon as the seedlings come up I gently move them by taking them from the leaves in their ultimate position spacing them to about 10-12 cm apart to allow the roots to grow properly. Better transplant them when they are young, as the root doesn't like to be disturbed too much. A beetroot should be ready to be harvested in about 3-4 months. As I told before, the leaves of the beetroot are edible, so you can just harvest the leaves as a cut and come again crops before harvesting the whole root. Same for the chard, I will take off the external leaves, the bigger leaves, and let the central leaves grow further, so eventually you can harvest them again and again. Slugs and snails can give some trouble to leaves and to the top of the roots, so it's better to protect beetroot and chard by growing them in a pot surrounded by some copper tape or use a natural barrier as it is wool pellet that you can find in specialized shop or crushed eggshells. They are natural barrier that slugs quite hate. I really hope you enjoyed this video, please stay safe and keep growing!